Hi, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this video, I'd like to show you how to crochet fingerless uh, mittens. Because sometimes you need things like that uh, to have your fingers free for important tasks like working on your phone. And so here they are. Um, I have uh, made some socks with a similar pattern and I was uh, just thinking why not use the same stitches for mitts. So the cuff is made with uh, slip stitches and the main part is uh, star stitches. And I think they look pretty good. And I'm using the beautiful Peyton's Classic Wool Roving for the mittens. It is a bulky yarn, size 5. It is 100% pure new wool. It has 100 grams in skein and you'll need one skein for the mitts. And this one is my favorite color. It's called Frosted Plum. So this is a great yarn right here. Uh, I'm using the crochet hook, size 7 millimeters. You'll need a stitch marker. To keep track of the rounds on uh, when doing the cuffs and to give you an idea the cuff measures about three inches from side to side the widest part here where the thumb hole starts is about four inches and a little over seven inches long and let's get started with the mittens and we start with the slip knot and then a uh, chain 22 One, two three four five and then we're going to make a ring by joining this with a slip stitch into the first chain. And here we can start the first round. And so this is going to be uh, all slip stitches. So the first round, make a slip stitch in each chain into that upper loop right here and so you can keep uh, track by counting it needs to have 22 slip stitches and I made uh, 21 and I just want to show you the last one is going to go right here this is the beginning slip knot on the back. And now I'm going to use my stitch marker and insert it into my last stitch. And the second round again, slip stitch into each stitch around and insert hook into that upper loop. Uh, we can also call it the back loop. It's kind of uh, looking like upper loop. So keep doing this all around. This is our second. And I'm going to make my last slip stitch, the 22nd in here where my stitch marker is. And now I'm uh, going to move stitch marker into this one, the last stitch. So this is how I keep track where my round ends. And from here, just repeat exactly the same and um, make a total of 15 rounds of the slip stitches. 
and on each round when you have made your last slip stitch uh, move your stitch marker into that last one just made this is uh, very helpful for sure and I finished my 15 rounds of slip stitches so my cuff is made and I recommend to pay attention not to crochet too tightly because I tend to uh, because otherwise it's just too hard to pull the cuff over your hand but right now this is perfect And when I measure it again, it's uh, more like three and a half inches from side to side. And now we're ready to start our star stitches. Uh, I can remove the stitch marker and we're going to make 11 stars on a round. To start, we need to chain three next insert your hook into the second chain from the hook and pull up a loop then insert it into the third chain pull up a loop then insert your hook into that space where the three chains started right here pull up a loop uh, then insert hook into that next slip stitch the upper loop pull up a loop and also into the next slip stitch pull up a loop so we need to have six loops on the hook hook and then yarn over and pull through all of them and finish the star with the chain this is the first star the next one go straight into this uh, one chain space we just made here and pull up a loop the next one we need to insert a hook underneath these two vertical loops on the side and pull up a loop third insert a hook into that space where the last star stitch was pulled up right here then insert hook into the next slip stitch pull up a loop and also into the next pull up a loop again have six loops on the hook and yarn over pull through all of them finish the star stitch with a chain this is our second star and let's do again insert hook into that last one chain space pull up loop the second one insert hook underneath these two vertical loops right here third insert hook into that beginning space here fourth insert hook into the next slip stitch fifth insert hook into the next slip stitch yarn over and pull through all loops on hook and chain and let's do one more and when pulling up the loops make sure um, the loops are quite loose that's how we make the pretty stars now keep doing this uh, and until the last star and let's make the last one together I made 10 stars and now the last one again pull up the loops as before second third and this one and now the last one I made the stitch count so that the last uh, loop we need to pull up is actually the beginning first one 
but also and that's because if I had an extra stitch here uh, it created a too big of a hole between the last and first star so that's why I'm gonna go with the last pull up loop into that first space and also now to make that last chain uh, I don't make it as before I'm going to first uh, insert my hook into that top of the first star right here and then pull up loop and also pull it through the working loop again it's so that to um, eliminate that uh, hole between the last and first stars as much as possible and the second round start with two chains and then turn and now we need to uh, make two half double crochets into that first chain space one two and then reach over to the next one chain space right here and again make two half double crochets right here and continue the same way next one chain space right here that little hole and make two half double crochets and continue all around again let's uh, finish the round together when we get to the end I made my last uh, half double crochet stitches here and when you count you again have 22 stitches around not counting those first beginning chains uh, and we end this round with a slip stitch into that second chain and then we turn again right side facing and we repeat the first round make another round of stars start with three chains and pull up a loop in the second chain from hook and also in the third then pull up a loop in that beginning space right here next go into that half double crochet stitch and last one into the next half double crochet so we have six loops on hook again and pull through all of them a chain and again pull up loop in chain space insert hook underneath the vertical loops right here then pull up the loop in this space here and then and inserting hook here uh, always through those two upper loops and the last one six loops And chain and now repeat this all around again it will have a uh, 11 stars again I finished 10 stars and let's make the last one together so pulling up loops as before and the last one goes in here and to make that last chain again first insert your hook on top of that first star and pull the yarn through the space and also through the working loop and next round again chain two and turn work on the wrong side and make the half double crochet stitches again into each one chain space so two half double crochets in each 
and so you'll have again 22 stitches around not counting the first beginning two chains and uh, finish this round again with a slip stitch into the beginning second chain chain three and turn facing right side and we have three more rounds to make first one uh, make the stars just like uh, here 11 stars just repeat that same round pull up first loop pull up the second loop third one into this beginning space fourth into the half double crochet fifth into the half double crochet and first star ends with chain so yes make um, 11 stars as before and I finished the round I made my slip stitch or chain into the uh, top of the first star and the next round uh, starts the same with two chains turn around work on the wrong side and this is around where we're going going to make the thumb hole uh, first um, start the same half double crochet twice into that first chain space twice into the next two also into the next and one more time So we made eight half double crochets in four chain spaces. And now for the thumb hole, we're going to skip two chain spaces, this one first and second. And be ready to make a half double crochet into the next. So let's see. First, second, here's my third insert hook here and make your two half double crochets and then we have four more one chain spaces to do one two three And the last one here four and then also join with a slip stitch into that beginning second chain and we have uh, two more rounds to do the first one is the stars again so chain three turn and uh, make your stars as before except now we're going to have nine stars because we skipped two for the thumb hole here so repeat the stars and make nine Uh, I made four stars and let's make the next one together it's over the thumb hole so pulling up my loops fourth fifth and sixth is right here it's just the same just wanted to show you how where to insert your hook here and then we continue so the next one uh, first pull loop in chain space second through the vertical loops and the third actually here into that same space and then fourth and fifth to have six loops on hook there
and I uh, made my last uh, star and uh, finished with a slip stitch slash chain into the beginning star and we have now the last round to finish our star pattern uh, chain two turn wrong side facing and to the half double crochets again twice in each one chain space one and two finished my last half double crochets and will slip stitch into that second beginning chain and we're done we can uh, cut off the yarn and fasten off so I think this is uh, such a nice uh, quick and easy project you can easily finish those two mittens while watching a movie and uh, just uh, weave in the ends now and let's see how it fits I think it looks perfect again so have fun with this project let me know if you have any questions I'm um, happy to help um, I will have written pattern on my website and happy crocheting!